Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have a very unusual vegetable which is called susus. This is about a kilo and I'm going to show you all how I clean susus. We peel this out gently, not taking much of the skin. And then in here, we usually find like the seed that's formed from young. So we remove the center part but because these are young you don't see it but it leaves a bitter taste when cooking and then we just cube almost like a loki uh, just like the low key. Now I'm going to finish clean this uh, lot of uh, susus and then I will start with the ingredients. To show you more cl clearly, this is what I was trying to say. The much younger ones don't produce these type seed, but this is a little older one and there you can see its seed. So. It must always be removed like this. Here's my susus of which I peeled and taken out the seed and cubed and I've caught it in the water. For the ingredients I have half a cup of oil, a six cloves of garlic and a grated onion, one tablespoon of mixed masala two dry chilies and a little bit of curry leaf to braise. Thereafter, I have a teaspoon of jeera and a teaspoon of mustard seed. For the taste, I have a teaspoon of salt, but we will taste along the way. And I'm using a quarter teaspoon of sugar to cut down the tomato acid. Then I have three tomatoes which are grated and I have fresh dhania to garnish. Now yeah. I am ready to braise. I've cut my pot on moderate heat. Firstly, I'm going to add in my oil. This braising is going to be done differently. I'm going to show you all the way my mother-in-law used to braise susus because we had a lot of susus growing on the farm. But today we bought our susus from the China Mall. First we put in our dry chilies. And then together with the dry chilies, I'm gonna use up my mustard seed. Put in my whole jeera. Let's stir this till I hear a busting sound of the mustard seed. This my mother used to usually call it poran. And then I'm going to add in my curry leaf to it. Thereafter goes in the garlic and then the onions. We allow these onions to get done. 
the onions are done, so I'm going to put in my masala for a few seconds. As you can see, I got my sauces drained out from the water. So I'm just gonna throw it all in. To this, I'm gonna add my salt and sugar. So it seeps in, but we will taste our salt. Give it a good stir and I put the lid on and let it soften. Susus can easily be cooked with lovely dry fish or dry shroom on a non fasting day. It's very tasty. It has been 15 minutes. I'm going to check on this. So I can still feel it quite hard. So what I'm going to do is to add a cup of water to just bring it to come a little soft. I'll put the lid on I'll leave it for another 15 minutes. 20 minutes has passed and our susus is soft. I am going to use a potato masher and mash this down because this is the way we make it but to this point if you like it uh, tubed and crunchy you can still eat it in the same way. I smashed my sushus down but as you can see it still have a little bit of chunks here and there and we added in another half a teaspoon of fine salt salt was less to this point I'm gonna put in my grated tomatoes And allow the tomatoes to cook out for another 15 minutes till it come into a fry finish. To this point, if you are going to add some dry fish or dry shrooms of which you fry separately, this is when you add it on to your curry. Okay, another 15 minutes has passed and you can see how nicely it's done with the oil surfacing. So now I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of tanya and then I'm ready to serve. Here you go, your susus curry, which is a very unusual vegetable but very delicious and served with some lovely hot roti. Thank you all for watching and enjoy.